Snow Tracks is sponsored by Ski Doo Snowmobiles. Experience that Ski Doo feeling. Yamaha revs your heart. And by FXR Racing. Maximum versatility for all conditions. So I married this pretty exceptional girl who a long time ago decided that she would go snowmobiling with me. And I was pretty surprised that she was so enthusiastic about it. And I'm not sure whether she liked it that much. The first trip I took with Mark was in the 80s. We traveled to Quebec with a group of about five couples. Uh, it was beautiful, spectacular back then. Since then, Mark and I try to take a trip every winter, somewhere overnight. This year, Mark invited me to join him on a trip to Abitibi to Miskaming. So a lot of people think Quebec is kind of like a long ways away. And I'm here to tell you, this was a short four and a half hour drive from where we are in central Ontario. Uh, we crossed over the Quebec boundary at uh, Temiskaming and we were here at Ville Marie in what seemed like no time. Mark surprised me with a stay just over top of a chocolate factory. The place we're staying at our first night is called Chocolate Martin, and it's a chocolate factory with beautiful luxury accommodation upstairs over the chocolate factory. When we opened the door to our room at Chocolate Martin, we were blown away. It is an ultra modern, brand new uh, resort accommodation. Modern design and a beautiful view of Lake Temis coming out the window. It was spectacular. So if you've heard about Abitibi Temiskaming and about the quality of trails that they have, then maybe this will be no surprise to you. But our first morning when I got up, I was anxious to get geared up and to get going and to get outside of Ville Marie and see what we were gonna see for the day. And so the, the trail is connected right through Ville Marie. It's no problem to get on the trail. We headed out through the town and quickly were on the trail. We were on the trails and once again, Quebec comes through with just amazing trail quality. Lots of snow, well-groomed, wide, smooth. You wouldn't want anything more. Confidence-inspiring trails. It's so hard for people to grasp just how good the snowmobile experience is here in Quebec. It's super nice here because there's loop trails, there's accommodation, there's gas, there's food. There's all different things that you can do along the trail routes. It's really confidence inspiring when you're planning something, especially when you're bringing along someone who's important to you, that you, you wanna have a really good experience. So we spent the morning of our first day just exploring the trails outside of Ville Marie. We had planned and checked on the map and knew that there were a variety of different loops that we could take. Abitibi Temiskaming just does snowmobiling so well. Signage gives you such confidence. You're never in a situation where you're wondering, is this the right way? That kind of stuff, that's not Quebec. That might be other places, but that's not Quebec. Quebec, you know where you are, you know where you're going, and you also know that there's support services along the trail so that you can get there. All of it is well-marked, uh, well-groomed, smooth, through the woods, whether it's through a field, over mountains, through towns.
So I'm not gonna lie, we were getting kind of hungry. It had been a busy morning and uh, we'd had a lot of fun and kind of found our way around a nice loop trail. And lo and behold, there you go, there's a trailside pit stop and uh, we pulled in and enjoyed a, a really great lunch and a warm up and some hot coffee. So after we'd had a really nice lunch and warmed up, we were feeling uh, like, let's get going again. And so we did. We're enjoying this really nice, wide trail. We found out that there was a special kind of place ahead from the people at lunch. And uh, we didn't know what to expect until we came over this hill. And there is this crazy vista. On a tree. I'm just sitting here. I got time, it's clear to see. It's kind of nice to just have time for those moments when you see something that beautiful on the side of the trail to be able to stop with the person that you love the most in life and enjoy those moments together. It is quality time. You're, you're enjoying something. Uh, you're in God's creation together. You're having fun. And it's just wonderful to be able to have time to communicate with my best friend. And uh, Barb truly is and always has been my best friend. Because the trails are so well marked with really good signage, eventually even I knew where I was going and I convinced Mark to do something that I don't normally do and that's asked him if I could lead. He was quite happy to follow so that he could see all the beautiful scenery that's around Ville Marie and we didn't get lost. Barb normally doesn't lead on trail rides, and she's happy with that. She's, she's good with that. But lo and behold, uh, these trails were so confidence-inspiring, so nice and wide and safe, that she decided that she'd like to take the lead for a while. And you know what? I'm good with that. So being in second place was kind of nice. I think I got to take in a little more of the scenery. The trails are just that good that they, they can make you do stuff that you might not normally do. So after a full day on the trails, uh, I'm not gonna lie, I was looking forward to getting back to uh, the resort and kicking back and taking it easy, and I know Barb was feeling the same way. We had one more thing we had to do, and uh, let's be serious about this now. If you stay at a place with a chocolate factory, you gotta go see how they make chocolate. Walking into the chocolate factory, I was a happy camper. I had everything around me that I think I had dreamed about since I was a child, and seeing Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. There were wheels of milk chocolate and dark chocolate and Lynn from the owner of Le Chocolat, Martine, was in the process of making Easter bunnies because of the season. Valentine's was already in their shop being sold, but Easter bunnies were being hand painted. You name it, they make stuff out of chocolate. I, I didn't see a chocolate snowmobile, but maybe they do. The wheels of chocolate, melted chocolate going into the molds and being filled with their handmade specialty fillings and going right from that into wrapping. But the best part was the testing at the end of the tour. Snow Tracks is sponsored by Princess Auto. Make it work. So up and at them on uh, day two, and we're ready to head back out on the trails. I think that uh, we kind of had a measure of confidence under our belt that we were going to have another really great day. And the forecast was saying that the weather is supposed to change and get very, very cold and stormy. But wow, did we start off with beautiful weather on our second day. It was another day in Quebec that uh, was like a dream come true. Wonderful weather, so I think we'd fit our trip right in the perfect slot of uh, perfect weather. Trails were a little bit different that we'd selected to ride on day two. More wide open, more big field crossings, and then into tight bush areas, and then back out into big expanses. It was fun, and we could wick up the throttle a little bit. And Barb is a competent, confident snowmobiler, and so it's fun to ride with somebody uh, enjoying the trails as much as you are.
So it's another wonderful day of traveling together. Every time we turned around, there was a different rock cut, a different scene to see, which is beautiful. Abitibi Temiskaming in the wintertime is about snowmobiling and they have developed a product over the years, almost 700 kilometers of trails here. They have six groomers. They have a formula for keeping the trails groomed. They don't let things out of whack and, you know, get big moguls and bumps. The trails are consistent quality from a grooming standpoint and from a width standpoint. That's one of the things that I think makes such a difference and builds confidence in people is you're not worried about coming around a corner and the trail narrowing down down and meeting another pack of people coming at you. The trails are well thought out and they've been here for many, many years. These guys here in Abitibi Temiskaming, they know snowmobiling. So I had something a little different for Barb to enjoy uh, on the second day for lunch. So we pulled up to the cheese factory and I didn't know what to expect. Mark said he had something prepared for us. But when I walked in, there was a beautiful little table set up in the corner with Valentine tablecloth and uh, he'd arranged for us to have a special meal in a cheese factory. A very unique experience because they make all kinds of cheese. The owner came out, had special platters of different cheeses. She spent time explaining to us how they make it. Every different kind she brought was wonderful. They gave us cheese fondue made with local artisan bread. The whole idea of poutine, that is putting cheese curds on french fries, that is a French Canadian idea, okay? It didn't start anywhere else. It started right here in Quebec, Canada. And so the place we went to specializes, wouldn't you know it, in making cheese curds. We had a nice lunch and we had kind of samplings of different kinds of cheese and Barb really enjoyed it. And I think it made her feel kind of special that it was about her. So after we concluded our lunch at the cheese factory and uh, we headed back out on the trails, our destination for the second night was La Bannock, which is an amazing, full-on, snowmobile-friendly, snowmobile catering resort. We'd been told that we could expect some pretty cool views and some neat outcrops and places that we would be stunned by, but we had no idea what we were going to see. This was a wonderful getaway that Mark had planned for us to do together. Uh, a little getaway that is going to refresh us all year. What's most wonderful doing this with him in Abitibi to Miskaming, uh, the getaway on their trails and their, the meeting the people and snowmobiling through the villages was just something that we will never forget. We come up over this hill as we're getting closer to Labanek. And there is this amazing vista. That's the only thing you could call it. You can see right down Lake Temiskaming, but it is, it is just breathtaking. And what an entrance, because you're very, very close to Labanek when, when you get to that point. We, we were both just like, wow. That was a wow moment on this trip to see the view along the trail uh, into Labanek. So we arrived at Labanek and uh, got our cabin. Actually, it's a chalet, just a beautiful chalet. We uh, kicked back for uh, about an hour or so and then headed down to the dining room for a gourmet dinner at, uh, at Labanek. This place is just uh, outstanding, has a real reputation for great food, and they didn't disappoint most amazing part of the meal is sitting there with my husband of 43 years, who I love to be with, who I love to snowmobile with, who I love to spend time with, drinking wine together and being just us in, after being busy all year, just enjoying each other. This has been a wonderful trip. It was kind of a romantic moment and a moment that, uh, that I won't soon forget. We enjoyed real intimate conversation and uh, recalled the original snowmobile trip that we did in the early 1980s to Quebec.
We had no idea back then on our first trip to Quebec that we would actually living a snowmobile lifestyle and our business would revolve around snowmobiling. So it was fun to be able to talk to my lovely wife, uh, someone who I care deeply about and dearly about. I don't want to say goodnight. I don't want to leave your side. I'll be missing you while I try. Can we stay? And to have this, this great getaway, this great time away, to just enjoy each other and to uh, to refresh each other and to have fun together. And fun is what it's really been all about, to be here for the last couple of days in Abitibi, Temiskaming. I don't want to leave your side. I'll be missing you while I try. This place is awesome to go snowmobiling. It, it is a great snowmobiling experience from the trails to the signs, to the destinations, to the gas, to the food, to all of the things that are available on the trails. This is an exceptional place. This is a place where snowmobiling is king and you will feel like you are somebody special when you come to Abitibi to Miskaming. There's been a lot happening for the 2021 season in terms of new product. And when we spoke recently with Yamaha, they're pretty excited for next season as well. Right up front, we need to tell you that yes, there are two strokes from Yamaha for 2021. And no, they aren't all just in their utility transport lineup, but there are a few there as well. Possibly the biggest news to hit the blue brand is the re-emergence of a mountain sled with a two-stroke motor. Yeah, you heard it right. And for 2021, there will be two all new models from Yamaha featuring an 800cc two-stroke motor. The length options will be a Mountain Max LE 154 as well as a Mountain Max LE 163. As for the exact specs and details, those you'll have to wait just a little bit longer for, but we can verify this is happening and we will have a full walk around and test ride for next season of these all new Yamaha two-stroke mountain sleds. And you can be sure Yamaha dealers in the vertical market will be hugely excited to be able to offer these to their customers for the 2021 season. Now, equally as exciting is the introduction of a new mid-size sled, the SX Venom. It's the perfect stepping stone between a snow scoot and a full-size Viper. Well, I guess mid-size isn't quite right, as Yamaha refers to it as 7 8 The SX Venom is a 400cc single-cylinder two-stroke available in both a trail and mountain version. The Venom features a true 7 8 size sled chassis not piggybacked off any other platform and delivers impressive performance numbers across the board. Up front, you're gonna see 7.2 inches of ski travel with a full 10.7 out in the rear skid frame and a 121 by 14 inch wide, one inch lug hacksaw track. That's not quite full size, but perfectly matched to the 400cc single cylinder EFI mill with power valves that delivers 65 horsepower. If you compare this to the 2021 Skidoo Sport line, you may be surprised at how it compares even at a 20 horsepower disadvantage. The smaller overall size and reduced weight keeps it feeling quite peppy and strong, yet still being fully featured with electric start, digital gauge package, hawk rips and thumb warmer, and a sporty and aggressive suspension package. If a snow scoot's too small and a Viper's too big, the Venom is, well, just right. Now the Transporter line was the first true foray back into the two-stroke market for Yamaha, and for 2021, there's quite a few changes here as well. Gone is the Transporter 600, and now we have a Power Pack Transporter 800, with a 794cc SDI two-stroke running power through Team Industries clutches and pushing a 2.25 power claw, 153-inch length, this is one off-trail backcountry beast to be reckoned with. The 38-inch ski stance keeps it narrow and nimble off-trail and still hugely purposeful with the integrated transporter rear rack and mountain skis, seat, and bodywork. And then on the flip side, for those not needing the power of an 800 two-stroke, you can opt for the transporter light. This is based off the SX Venom platform and uses the same 65 horsepower, 400cc single cylinder two stroke, but now out back features a 146 inch, 1.6 Camso Cobra track, utilizing a mountain ski, seat, and narrower bodywork as well as 38 inch ski stance. This lightweight 7 8 sled is nimble, agile, and able to work with an integrated rear cargo rack, much like the full size 800 transporter, but in a smaller package for those not needing all the size, weight, or power of its bigger brother 
but still wanting amenities like electric start, heated grips, and thumb warmer. While the last piece of information isn't as big as the others, it is equally as exciting for us here at Snow Tracks and Super Tracks because it answers a request we've had for Yamaha for quite a few years. And that was to get rid of the tuner ski. And this year, it's gone. And now introduced is a ski called the Strike. This all new from the Keel Up Ski is designed to not only give you tunability via multi-carbide setups, but rather tunability with a shim setup under the ski rubbers. Depending on the snow conditions and your riding style, you can adjust the way the ski interacts with the snow by shimming it up front to adjust steering effort, aggressiveness, and steering comfort, or shimming the rear to account for the snow's consistency from soft to hard. We'll have more info and full testing on this setup in the near future, but for right now, we know it has a center keel design, a single unique carbide design to help balance the steering effort, and also the amount of understeer or push up front. All we can say is that we're excited for this new ski and can't wait to get to work tuning it and playing with the adjustments. 2021 shows Yamaha's commitment to the snowmobile industry, with many new models making their way to the lineup. But possibly the most important and most exciting is Yamaha's reintroduction into the two-stroke market, with not just one sled, but multiple platforms. Snow Tracks has been sponsored by Polaris Snowmobiles, MBRP Performance Exhaust, Race Inspired, Trail Proven, and by Hercules Tire, ride on our strength. If you like what you've just seen, click the subscribe button and comment below. And make sure you check out all of our great videos on Snowtracks TV's YouTube channel.